So we're on to division now. Uh, so we have a quiz and a test coming up. The first thing is we just really need to understand what we're doing when we divide. Uh, area model, there's two different ways we're talking in class. We do area model and partial quotients. And uh, it's pretty much the same way. Uh, just two different forms of subtracting and looking at how many things you have left. So first thing I want to do is just kind of give you an example of what the understanding is. So at first, uh, I'm going to take, uh, just break this problem right here into area model. So I have 504 different objects, and I'm going to break those down into 24 groups. How many would be in each group? So I could write that down in different equations. I could write 24 times what gives me 504. I can write down what times 24 gives me 504. I can write down 504 divided by 24 gives me what? And I could also write down 504 divided by what gives me 24. So we need to understand that there's many different ways to write this. And do we understand all those different ways when we do that? And what are they asking for? So that's a, uh, a big step right there. So then we're going to look at the area model of this same problem. So what I did with the area model was I, uh, I wrote down 504 in the first box. And I'm going to look at, break it down just as close as I can, just an estimate. So uh, I did, I wrote down over here my estimates, I guess 10 the first time. And I got 10 times 24 is 240. 24 times 20 is 48 and it adds to zero. Then 24 times 30 is 720. So then I figured out that I know it's going to be less than 720. So my answer is going to be somewhere between 20 and 30. So what I did first was I took out 20 sets. So I put 24 times 20 right at the top. And I got my 480 like I did over here. And I'm going to subtract those. So I'm going to put those in groups already. And then I'll work with what I have left. If I have any, enough left to make a group. So I subtracted my 480 and I came up with 24. So I put that in my next box. It doesn't matter how many boxes I do. I could have done it and took out 10 and 10 and then one. So it doesn't really matter. So this time I took out 20 and then I had 24 left. So I put that in the next box and I know 24 times one equals 24. So 24 times one, I'm gonna take that group out. So then I'm left with a group of 20 over here or 24 groups of 20 and I'm left with one group of 24. So I'm going to add those together so my answer is going to get 21. So my question mark up here is 21. So I know 24 times 21 equals 504. I know 21 times 24 equals 504. I know 504 divided by 24 equals 21. And 504 divided by 21 equals 24. So those are the equations that we need to really understand uh, what's going on. So once we understand that, uh, let's look at the same problem in a partial quotient. So let's bring the camera out a little bit more. So partial quotient is just going to stack it up more vertically. So so since I have my numbers from before, let's go ahead and look at these. So I used 20 the first time, and I did 20 times 24. 20 times 24 is 480. And I subtracted that, and I got my 24. So next, I know it's a 1. So instead of, this is where I had a little different. So I put my next partial quotient up there. 24 times 1 is 24. So when I'm done, I'm just going to add whatever's up here together and I'm going to get 21. So it doesn't matter. Let's do it one more way to show you. I could have done So let's say I didn't I had a bad estimate. Let's say I for some reason I started with 10. 
So I put my 240 there and then I subtracted. And then I realized, oh, I can take out another group of 10. And then I get 24. So then I know I can do one more group. So then I know if I add all those together up, it's 21. So it's just a kind of easier way to look at your estimates and then doing it. If you know your tens multiplication tables really well and for some reason they don't know they're 20 or, or three times, then just stick with the tens and you just have a look, couple more steps, but you'll get the right answer. So uh, once we have that understanding, so these are the partial, what they would call the partial quotients up here. And then a lot of times they will put like a line and then put the quotient up there as your total. So partial quotient would be 20 and one, and the whole quotient would be 21. So uh, here's some of the sample problems too. Uh, so they're supposed to do these with area model R partial quotient uh, to divide and then check your answer with multiplication. So uh, I'll do some of these on here. So let's look at number one. We got 540 divided by 12. So let's do this partial quotient on this one. So if we look at this, we're going to look at what 12 times what will give me something close to 54. And then I'll I just add a zero to it. So uh, let's look at 12 times 4 would be 48. And 12 times 5 would be 60. So that's too much. So let's go back with my 4. Uh, and so since I know I have it, since it's 540, I'm going to use a uh, 40. So I'm going to put my 40 there. 4 times 12 is 48, then add my 0. Subtract. And then I have 60. Then I know 5 times 12 is 60. 5 times 12 is 60. So I'm left with 0. So then all I have to do is add my partial quotient to get 45. So 45 times 12 equals 540. And 12 times 45 equals 540. So any way you want to write that. So to check that by multiplication, uh, we will do, let's just do standard algorithm. Most of them we're doing that for checking. Uh, 5 times 2 is 10. 5 times 1 is 5 plus 1 is 6. 0, 8, 4 times 2, 4 times 1. And then add together to get 540. Okay. Let's do uh, this one area model. So I'll do this one on here. So this one will do 798. And we'll go ahead and put that in the box. And then we'll put 38 down here. So this is where they have the most problem is where do they start making their guesses? So they could just do over here, uh, somewhere down here, 38 times 10. I know it's gonna be 380. And they need to work it out over here, it's fine too. Okay, 760. And so a lot of their question is, uh, where do I start? So if you wanna start there, uh, you could also do, what I like to do is try to get them to estimate. So I know that this is close to 40. I know this is close to 80. I know 40 times two is 80. So I would have tried 20 right off the bat. But if they didn't know that, then they just, just write them out like that. So then I'm gonna put my 38 times 20 up here. Uh, some of them will start skipping that skip after a while. So my 20 is what I took out already. Then I'm gonna subtract eight minus zero, nine minus six is 38. So then I'm gonna take this to the next block. So obviously it's gonna be one. I have zero left. So 21 would be my answer for this one. 
So I could do 21 times 38 equals 798 or 38 times 21 equals 798. And then check by multiplication. So I will do another one. Let's do one down here at the bottom. Let's do, let's try to do this one on here. We'll do, so 51 times what would give me something close to 100. So I'm just gonna start with 20 on this one and I can work it right here. So, or I could just do, let's do, make it a little easier. Let's do 51 times two, and then we'll just add a zero. Two times one is two, two times five is 10. And then I'm gonna use 20 and add a zero. So I'm gonna put my 20 here for partial quotient. So I took out 20 groups of 51 and I subtract and I had 51 left over. So I'm gonna do one more group and that'll get me the zero. Add them up, 20 plus one is 21. So that's good to go. Let's look at, we'll go over here, this one's a little bit harder with estimating. So we'll do another partial quotient. So on this one, where do I start? Uh, you can look at three times what gives me 18. So I'm just gonna be, that's five. So five times three is 15. So I know it's probably gonna be close to five. Uh, so what we could do is just work it out right here. 32 times 5, 5 times 2 is 10, 15 is 160, so that's 160, if I added a 0, so it would be 50, so it would be one, uh, 1,600, so that would work. Let's just see if 32 times 6 would work, uh, or 60 is 12, so... Whoops, messed up there. Six times two is 12. Carry my one, 19. So it'd be 192. So that would be 1,920, so that's too many. So I know my answer is gonna be in between 50 and 60 if I add the zeros. So I'm gonna start with 50 then. And subtract, six minus zero. So I have 256 left. So from then, uh, we just kind of look at it and see what you want to do. So I already know that six is 192. So I'm going to go with, let's do that. Let's do 192 and see how many we have left over. So let's put a six up here and I have my 192. subtract and I have 64 left over so I know that 32 times 2 is 64 so I can subtract only thing is when I add my partial quotients up this time I have three numbers instead of instead of two not a big deal if maybe these 40 here they could have four and it doesn't matter five and they're just breaking it down so my answer for this one would be 58 and then you can check with multiplication so uh, I hope that gives you a good idea of understanding it but the main thing is really understanding what these numbers are and making sure that we know that if we do have a, a area model that we're taking 20 groups of 38 and then see how many we have left and see how many more groups of 38 do we need. And understanding how to write those problems. So if uh, 
we had to write a multiplication or what, what this means, if we had to write it out, it means 21 times 38 equals 798. It means 38 times 21 equals 798. It means 798 divided by 38 equals 21. It means 798 divided by 21 equals 38. So we should be able to write four equations for each problem, uh, understanding what those numbers mean. So study up, guys. Good luck.